Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Haunter, the Finnesota Mermaid. Uh, today I would have been using the regular audio for this, but I decided to try and use the brand new mic we bought before testing it. So the actual audio sounds like absolute garbage. So uh, yes, hello, it's me, I'm the problem. I am impatient. Anyways, today I am doing a Neverland Tail Leggings. It's not really an unboxing because I've already unboxed them, but I wanted to show off these amazing leggings because I was a originally going to get these tails as well, but unfortunately Neverland Tails has closed their shop, so I am unable to get these tails anymore. I at least get to show you the leggings. The first set I have to show you guys is the Phantoms. They are very ghostly, apparition-y, they're white and gray, absolutely gorgeous. Freaking love these. I don't have any other pairs that are white, so these are definitely going to be unique in my collection, and I am so excited to have these in my roster. The next set are the Shadow Sirens, and these are absolutely up my alley. Black and purple are my two go-to colors and are probably considered my two favorite even though i love black orange purple and like lime green because those are halloween colors but these i absolutely freaking love these two right out of the gate they are so cool i love the spots and these definitely look amazing on as well which you will see in a little bit the next set is the Mer Leficent. Uh, they are based off of Maleficent, which is the Disney villain from Sleeping Beauty. These are so fun. These are so bright. They have that nice, really limey green that you see for Halloween stuff. These ones are definitely very unique. I haven't seen anything else really like these. I, I'm absolutely going to wear these for my Disney trip for Halloween because we're going during Halloween. I will probably absolutely be bringing these ones along as well. These are the Samhain leggings. These are classic black and orange and they have the cutest little jack-o'-lantern faces on them. I just, I freaking, oh, I love all of these, but this one's got a special place in my heart. Halloween, it's black and orange, it's the classic. You can't go wrong with the classic. All right, last but not least, the final pair. Uh, these are going to be the Malignant Leggings, not to be confused with Merlificent. These ones were also very, I believe, inspired on ghostly apparitional type things. I love the color choices with this one. Just the gray is so good, it's so nice and cool and that blue pops so nice. Now for trying everything on, and I did not plan for the phantom leggings to match my tops like they did. This is awesome, and I will be doing this look again because, uh, yes. And usually white is supposed to make you look heavier, but these actually did the opposite, it feels like. So that was really awesome. I love the stripes and the gradient on these. It's just phenomenal. So much love and detail goes into these leggings, and you can see it. Mm. Yes, chef's kiss. All right, onto the shadow sirens and I, it's so good. They are so good. These ones also made me feel like I looked slimmer and it's not even what I got them for. And the spots are so stinking cute. They're spooky and cute. And I love, again, the gradient on this where it kind of fades in between the black and the purple. So well done, especially where the fading is at. Really, really good attention to detail. Absolutely wonderful. I love it. Going into the next set with the purple, green, and black, the Maleficent. These, again, are also so fun. They are spooky, they're cute, they're festive. I just, I am blown away with all of these leggings so far. Absolutely amazing work. And I cannot wait to see all of the faces of the people that I walk by at Disney with these on. And I hope I get compliments because these leggings absolutely deserve compliments. All of these leggings do. Next, we have the wonderfully spooky and classic color combo Samhain leggings. I just, I want to run around and sing This Is Halloween in these suckers. I just freaking love them. And then you get to see the little jack-o'-lantern faces on them even better. There's one up by the thigh area and one down on the calf on both sides and they're so cute and they're always smiling so it's just like you have a happy little jack-o'-lanterns with you wherever you go when you wear these and then once again last but not least we have the malignants these look so good i know i've said that about the other ones but i just i can't get over these i Oh, I wish I had the tail so bad, you guys. Oh, the tail was so pretty. I love, 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 love the gray and blue in this so much. 
and I want to get these in the water so I can see how they look in the water because I guarantee you it's gonna blend in and it's gonna look so spooky and so good mm. chef's kiss all around just mwah. this is the part of the video where I would usually say hey again this is where you can go to get these unfortunately as I said at the beginning Neverland Tales is no longer open, so you are unable to buy leggings, tops. They had arm pieces that were really cool, no longer available. So these are now defunct, which is a shame. These are just amazing pieces and they had so many other things other than just the Halloween and they were so unique and different. And I'm happy that I was able to support Neverland Tales when I could. I wish I was able to do it more previously but money was tight and whereas this year it very much doesn't seem to be thankfully knock on wood but with that i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope you all have a wonderful weekend i love you all so much and i will see you in the next video blessed be bye y'all